this is our final meal here in mm. Thailand. I'm just enjoying a nice green curry. Mm. <laughs> That's become my favorite here in Thailand. Jamie has. Red rice with egg. Yeah, so that's it. Here we are all ready to go. Just have to go to bed early in a few minutes and then uh, wake up at 2 o'clock and get on the airplane. So, okay. See so you maybe at the airport. <laughs> okay. okay, Jamie has a present from his new friend here. Uh, a pick and a pencil case. Okay. Okay. okay, good morning. Today is the 18th of December. <laughs> yeah, today we go to Denmark. Can't actually believe it yet. Seems very strange. You know, they've actually understood what we're doing today, but that's what we're doing. We're going back to Denmark. Yeah. So, yeah, what time is it? Two o'clock. Two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So, we don't look too tired actually for 2 o'clock in the morning, not no. too bad. Actually a bit fresh, I just freezing in the in the, in the the hotel here in, with the air conditioner, I'm actually freezing now. So, maybe it's how it is when we come back again, it's a bit cold. Wait till tonight, have the heater on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we go from 35 degrees to about, I don't know, 2 or 3 degrees, whatever it is in Denmark. Yeah, so. Okay, taxi's coming, hopefully in a few minutes. Let's get the bike boxes in the taxi and uh, let's go to the airport. Okay, taxi came perfectly on time, perfect. Bikes are here. Yes. Um, Jamie's is here, all the bags are here. Yes. Okay, let's go to the let's airport. Let's go to the airport. Okay, we are at the airport. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Bikes are here, bikes are here. Let's get them on the trolley, let's get into the airport. Okay, so bikes are on their way to Copenhagen. And our bikes. Yes. So it's not only Indigo that gives us good service at the chicken counter, he was also great. So yeah. Everybody helped us, so perfect. So now we just have uh, ourselves and two biking bags left. Okay, here we go and uh, have some breakfast. Yes. Okay, we've just been uh, stamped out of Thailand, all very easy at once again. Yes. And uh, been through the security. So uh, now we are finished with today's jobs, now we just have to uh, sit back and relax for many hours. <laughs> but, uh, 11 hours. 11 hours. The first flight is 11 hours to Istanbul and the second flight is three and a half hours from Istanbul to Copenhagen. I think we have a couple of hours in Istanbul transferring. So yeah, that's the plan. That is in the whole is uh, 14 hours. No, 17 hours altogether. 17? Yeah. 17 hours total. Mm. So it's a long day today. It's uh, strange to think we start at 2 o'clock in the morning and when we get to Denmark it'll be 5 o'clock because of the, we put the clocks back again 6 hours, 6 hours time difference to here. So yeah, 4 o'clock in the morning, what do we feel like? Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> Perfect. Croissant. It's very good. Before we are going on the airplane, very good. So, it's a little bit strange. I thought this would be the um, saddest day of the whole trip when we have to fly back. But uh, so far it's going okay. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't actually feel like we're going home for some reason. It just feels like we're going to a new country. It's a little bit strange. Maybe we don't realize where we're going yet. Yes. Um, what do you think? The same. Yeah, it just feels like we're changing country like we've done many times now. So uh, we'll see what happens later. <laughs> okay, so now we have our seats. This is where we're going to be sitting for the next 11 hours. Another good thing is that because it's Turkish Airlines, we can see many of the places we've visited. This is the travertines of uh, Pomokalai, I can see here. <laughs>
especially following the sun. There's the most amazing uh, sunrise at the window. The sun's a little bit ahead of us now. The problem is nobody on the airplane has opened any of the blinds, so we're just sitting here in the dark while the most amazing sunrise is going on outside. But, uh, yeah, it's the middle of the day now, of course. But, uh, I didn't book the... No, I didn't check us in until yesterday evening. It left it too late, so uh, we missed the opportunity to get a window seat. So that's a bit of a shame, but uh, never mind. Pretty cold here in our t-shirts. freezing cold. And we're only in Turkey. What's going to happen when we get to Denmark? Let me notice people have coats on and jackets and sweaters. I don't even know if I have a sweater. Maybe I'll see if I've got one in the back somewhere. Okay, so now we're here in uh, Istanbul Airport. This is the first time we've actually been to Istanbul. It was last time we... Uh, came in further south near Izmir and uh, cycled through the centre of Turkey. But, uh, yeah, now we have to go and find gate number 225. That's the highest number I've ever been to, to find a gate. <laughs> but, uh, but the flight was okay, 11 hours from uh, Phuket to Istanbul, where we could see on the map we were flying over many of the places we've been on the ground. And now we just flew all the way back in one day. That took us 10 months to cycle on the ground. But of course, in the air we didn't have the same experience and meet so many people and stayed in so many places as we did on the ground. But, uh, but yeah, now we're back here in Istanbul. Hello, now we're just sitting here and uh, this is our last uh, airplane tour on the trip here. So how is it feeling that you're going home to Denmark, Daddy? It's a believe it now, I can see all the rain and the... Uh, Okay, we're on our way to Denmark. After 10 months since we left Denmark, we're now on the way back. We better told if we could get by a run on the flight. That's what we got. I already <laughs> drink it. <laughs> Long time ago we had that, but that's really good. I think it is nice to see Christmas trees here, they fit in perfectly. So on this 
trip we've probably seen about 10 Danish people in 10 months. Now all of a sudden, we see hundreds of them one in one go. Let me see if we can find a big taxi, but there's a nice lady, Danish lady, helping us trying to find a big bus for us. That's great. <laughs> Getting some good help here. Yeah. to think that we are in Denmark, not in Thailand. Yeah. And I miss the warm because here it's just freezing cold. <laughs> and my ears is turning to red and oh, it's not that good what I expected. Maybe when you are in the desert, you think about cold where you want some winter, but when you're actually in there, you actually want the warm again. Well, that's because we're just standing in the wind waiting for the taxi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. At least we're here. Very good. Okay. So now we're in Copenhagen. That's uh, nearly 24 hours since we set off this morning. <laughs> it's a bit amazing to think that, yeah, 24 hours ago we were in Thailand in Phuket. Now we're here in Copenhagen. But everything's gone okay. Um, no problems really. Just a very big. Uh, yeah, contrast to making one day, because on this trip we've been moving slowly one day at a time, so we haven't had any big changes really, we've just gradually moved from one place to the next, and uh, so today to go all the way from Thailand to Denmark, that's a bit of a big leap in one day. So we'll see how it goes the next few days, if we can readjust to life here in Denmark. But uh, the nice thing is that in uh, two days time we'll be seeing Meta again, so we'll be all the three of us will be back together again, so that's... That's the most important thing now. Yeah, that'll be nice in a few days. We can see our family and friends again. And on Friday, Jim will, will be able to see all his uh, school friends again. So that'll be good. So uh, tomorrow we'll be, uh, yeah, trying to get up early if we can and uh, get the bikes assembled. If we can do, we'll set off cycling. The weather doesn't seem too bad. It's five degrees and uh, not too cold. So I think we should be okay. Made a center box with uh, gloves to the hotel and that was waiting for us so uh, we should be okay. We'll see how it goes. And if we can get the bikes assembled by lunchtime then we'll set up tomorrow. So we do a bit of cycling in Denmark so we can see what that's like. So Okay, see you tomorrow in Denmark. Good night from here and see you tomorrow in Copenhagen. <laughs>